Hello Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and I told you I was gonna do it! I told you I was gonna do monthly favorites, so here I am, second month in a row. We're off to a good start, I think, hopefully. Um, the tricky thing is that, like, when you're not in school and you don't, like, work any, like, structured job a lot, time kind of becomes an illusion and you forget when the month happens, so I'm gonna do my best to keep doing these. I think they're a lot of fun and I have some sweet, juicy favorites for you guys this month. They're like really supremely random this month. I feel like they're always gonna be supremely random, um, but I'm just gonna tell you what I've been liking this month. Yay! Um, my very first favorite I have for this month is this sweater. I know it's just a yellow ass sweater. It's from H&M. It was like $34 or something. It's just so huge and happy and I love it. My mom and I both wanted it and we were like, we can probably just get one and split it so my mom and I like split the price of this $34 sweater and it's just gonna kind of closet hop for a while. I like it a lot. It's a medium and it's humongous on me. I think it's supposed to be like that though. Um, I really like how big the sleeves are and it makes me feel like a big comfy sun and I'm rocking the yellow lately. I have another yellow favorite and I'm just, I don't know, I'm living my yellow life. I wanted to wear this on my head today, but it makes my buns look really stupid. Um, so I don't know. I'm living my yellow life. I'm gonna, again, try and do all of my like fashion favorites together and then try and do all of my like makeup faves together and all of my like anime faves together. I don't know you guys, I have shoes on my bed and that bothers me cause they're dirty, but I did a whole video on these. You guys can check it out. I won't go on about them too much, but I guess I will show you that. Yeah, I did finally put the pink ribbon in these Why Are You Confetti Air shoes. Here, I'll do the little. Um, yeah, I mentioned in the video, I was like, I think I'm gonna replace the laces so that they're extra cutie, and I think it looks a lot cuter like that. Of course, if you missed the video, they do light up, and they are my sweet sons. They are really uncomfortable, but I've worn them out and about I think three times so far and it does get a little better each time I think it's just because this part is so high and so stiff like it's a very stiff unforgiving material that um like this back part rubs the frig out of my ankles but it's the sort of thing that yeah I just need to break them in so they're getting better every day but holy jump-ins uh they take a bit of getting used to the video that i did on that if you missed it was confit light up confetti shoes unboxing i don't know you can see it there's a big picture of it in the thumbnail i have two other shoe favorites because i'm a sh big shoey b-word you guys know my best friend came to visit me for a little bit um the other week and like she spoils me with presents and I spoil her with presents but like she spoils me more and I don't deserve it but she found at forever 21 both of these were on sale for like four dollars each and they were in my size so she picked me up two freaking pairs of jelly shoes because I'm undeserving but there's these pink see-through ones which I was looking for and I don't have and these purple see-through ones <sighs> I also not super recently but at the beginning of the summer I ordered two more pairs of freaking Juju jelly shoes um, from the actual brand Juju so now I have one two three four five pairs of jelly shoes but none of them are the same and I'm so happy and I just I love these a lot they look really cute with cute socks hee <laughs> hee this is kind of stupid, but I've been kind of living my 90s life, and so I want this favorite to be a collective 90s hair accessories favorite, which will include these, I also don't know if these are 90s, but they give me 90s vibes, these humongous, big, scrunchy, towel-like sports headband 
ass uh, hair elastics. I got these from Claire's. We just got them in and they are like, oh, I love them. Cause I know um, these, but super small were definitely a thing in the 90s. Are these 90s? Probably not. People are gonna yell at me. I'm sorry. I was born in 98. Fight me. I love them. They're awesome. Squish, squish, squish. Also, this, ha this is a three-parter fave. I bought two of these packs and one of them I cut open and have been using but one of them is still a little baby. Why did I buy two? I don't know. I got really excited and I just I think they're hilarious. This is probably not 90s but they gave me a very like 90s cartoon rug rat C vibe. I don't know. I think they're amazing. Even the black one like I'm usually not like a dark color girl but I just think they're the freaking coolest, dude. I just think they're awesome. Uh, I need to wear my hair down more so that I can take full advantage of this. Again, obviously from Claire's, my girl. And the third one I don't have on me right now, but you guys know what butterfly clips look like. Um, someone posted in the Party K Worldwide community. I feel like I've been talking about that a lot, but that's where I get like all of my info on where to buy cute things. Um, they said, hey, they have butterfly clips at the Dollarama. And I was like, excuse me? I have been trying to find beautiful, slightly clear 90s butterfly clips or any freaking butterfly clips at all. Um, and for some reason, I haven't been able to find them anywhere. No dollar store, no thrift store, no nowhere. Like obviously online you can find them, but I got a bunch from the Dollarama. I don't have a picture right now, but butterfly clips rock, bring them back. Let's go, let's go. Party time, yay. That is it for like uh, clothing and accessories faves. I'm gonna do a cheeky move on to beauty and makeup. Um, you guys know I got a tattoo. My first tattoo, he's hidden right now, but look, it's still there. Um, it's pretty much healed up now. I know it'll take a few more weeks to like fully heal up. I think they say it takes six weeks to like completely freaking like be like your body was before, but it's not scabbing or like it's, it feels just like my skin now. Um, I'm still moisturizing twice a day with this favorite. Ooh. Um, I did lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of research on which lotions are the best for your tattoo and which soaps and all that sort of thing and pretty much everywhere just said no fragrance, no dyes, keep it simple, Bob's your uncle. So of course I still wanted it to be slightly fancy and cute and so I found the Lush Dream Cream um, again picked up by my friend Kenzie because she lives somewhere where there is a Lush and I do not um, but this is a non-colored non-fragranced cream and I've been using this again like three times a day for the first week and two times a day since and like or I guess no, because the first few days you didn't use lotion. You know what I mean? I've been using this a lot and like, it's barely been touched, dude. So a little really does go a long way. I usually just like, I don't want to drown my tattoo because I know you got to kind of sort of let it breathe, but you also don't want to be too skimpy on it. So, um, I don't really like how it smells because again, it has no like artificial fragrance. It's all, it, it does say, um, I think it does, yeah, it says fragrance, but then it says occurs naturally in essential oils. So it's good for tattoos. I like it a lot. It is vegan. I'm not vegan, but it's always a good thing when things are. I love him very much. And yeah, again, I can use this forever. <laughs> um, there's a frick ton of it. Maybe I'll start doing my whole bod with it. Um, because it says used by June 28th, 2018, which is like a whole year almost away, but, uh, uh, there's a lot of it, so I'm gonna be very smooth. This next favorite I almost did a whole video on, but I haven't yet, and it's a sort of thing where it's kind of time sensitive, so I might have missed the boat on this one, but, and some people might not like me for this, but the Kylie Cosmetics birthday, 20th birthday collection, I, 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 I love it. I, I, 
I love it. It was my first ever, for like I know nothing about Kylie Jenner or the Jenners or the Kardashians, like I am not in that universe. I didn't really know anything about it except that whenever she announced this, it was all about birthdays and it was pink and sparkly. So I got it and I really like it and it's really freaking good, dude. However, and here's the tea. Um, when I got it, the, as you can see, it actually kind of looks like there's a highlighter, but it's not. This is just pan because when I got it, the whole highlighter cheers was, or is it confetti? Yeah, confetti was exploded. Like it was wrecked. I can insert the Instagram video here. Maybe. <laughs> do I have the technology to do that? Hopefully. It's been a while on YouTube. You should probably know. But, um, it uh, was like beyond repair. And then it, it was at the point where I literally tilted it probably about like that much. I tilted it to take a picture in better light to send to the customer service and the whole thing came out like onto my bedspread. So there was no salvaging this. And I know people say like, oh, just mix it with alcohol and press it. It was everywhere. Like, and like, I, d I don't think I like went cocoon. Like I tilted it probably about that much. And it was just like, <sighs> so I was like, okay, awesome, sweet. Probably could have salvaged it, but it was all over my bed. Was that my fault? Maybe. I don't know. Let's move past this. Basically, I emailed their customer service and I said, dude, this exploded. I paid 86 Canadian dollars for this after shipping. Oh my God. I know the palette itself is only 50 something US, which doesn't sound bad, but it's a hard time to be Canadian, my dude. So they lovingly and wonderfully and very quickly responded. Um, it was a Friday that I got it and it was a fr like that, like, within the hour i emailed them and was like help they were like we'll get back to you within three business days and like we don't reply on weekends so i was like Shit, they probably won't even see it until monday at the very earliest not nah, they replied within like three hours on that friday and shipped it out real speedy quick and it came real speedy quick and now i have this one i haven't touched yet he did he did he. look there he is thank you so I don't know anything about Kylie. I don't really know any of the drama. I don't know da 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 don't da 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 very nice product, like it a lot. <laughs> um, do you guys want me to do a whole video on this? I have it on my lids today and I have it on my eyebrows as well. I finally found a new hot pink to replace my Jeffree Star for my eyebrowsies. It's the pink one. And just like the, like, I'm sorry, but A, the mirror's a big happy heart shape. There's metallic happy hearts. It's pink and glittery. Very High School Musical Sharpay Evans. I want it all! Vibes. Very pretty pink metallic covered in fingerprints. The color, like, let me just read a couple. Birthday Girl, Party Time, Buttercream Frosting. The highlighter's called Confetti. The other one's called Cheers, Celebrate. Like, just come on, dude. It's... <laughs> this is the only thing I got from the collection, um, and I use it every day. I like it a lot. It's really good quality. There is a lot of fallout, um, but only, like, when I tap my brush, you know what I mean? Like, when I, uh, when I go into the pan to get the color, it doesn't, like, explode right then, but then I tap it and, like, the way I do my makeup, I have the palette kind of on my knee, so then I tap it off the side, just once or twice. And then at the end of doing my makeup, my knee is like a hundred colors. But anyway, long story to say that I really like this. This is weird and random, um, but again, I think I've mentioned Kenzie a hundred times, but like that was a big thing this month was that I got to hang out with my best friend and it was awesome. Um, but she brought a bunch of her makeup to turn me into a spooky goth bat. And one of the things she brought was this Too Faced Christmas palette. Which one is it? Too Faced in Pear, Pear, Christmas in Paris? Which year was this? I don't know. This was a, a couple years ago, but she never really used it except for like the black and the dark purple. So since our aesthetics are so opposite, the ones that I like are like this pink 
and this one called party dress and delightful and string of lights and white christmas and again another big big beautiful full satin sheets where are we look at this oh party dress makes me swoon and the only one she used were stiletto and this freaking one so um, she sold it to me for like $10 and it was awesome and I really really like it I've been loving these colors I know it's old so this is not very helpful at all because you can't buy it but it rocks I love Too Faced I'm gonna go through these last ones really quick because I feel like this video is getting really long but my favorite youtuber of all time Drew Monson slash my toe cold came out with his uh, comeback music video called my comeback and I think I listened to it like five times a day and and I sobbed about it and I dreamed about it and I think I cried while I was dreaming because I woke up with a really sore throat um, I love him a lot please go listen to it he's my absolute favorite and like all I care about is that Drew Monson is having a good day um, Project Runway started back up again it's my favorite show it's like the only reality TV show is it reality it's a competition it's amazing I love Project Runway um, I know it's like a TV show and the drama and stuff and blah 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 but I just love it it inspires me to sew and it inspires me to get creative and I freaking want to be on Project Runway in a couple years so bad I'm in like a beautiful place right now where I have like my shows are on five nights a week there's america's got talent which i watch with my mom that's on tuesdays wednesdays project runways thursdays the that's so raven spinoff is fridays and then pretty cure is saturdays so like oh it is good tv heaven i have reasons to get through the day uh and like i feel like this is awkward but the only real thing that i can tell you about this month is that i've been sewing a lot i've been working on my cure whip cosplay she's from an anime called kira kira pre cure a la mode hee <laughs> hee i have some of the things here from it and do you guys want me to do a whole video on this because I mentioned that in the Twitter poll but um it lost real bad but I still want to do it because I like it a lot I also have the whisk but it's over in my sewing corner to inspire me to um, work on it my dad bought me a rotary cutter like a sweet angel you saw it if you watched the goth transformation because he surprised me in the middle of it thank you dad um, I realized I didn't actually say the words thank you and some people were like she didn't thank her dad I freaked out it was a rotary cutter I'm sorry I love my dad and I appreciate it a lot it's basically like a pizza cutter for fabric it's the best thing in the whole world it's changed my life I was cutting a lot of scallops yesterday for whips over skirt and <laughs> It changed my life. My deadline to have whip done is Halcon of this year, which I'm gonna be going to, obviously. Um, it is September 22nd, but I'm about 70% done. I'm gonna work on it when I turn off the camera here. So, that's everything I've been up to and have been liking and using and smooching this month. I love you guys so, so much. Comment the frick down below what you've been loving this month. Give me a fave thing. I don't have an anime favorite this month because the anime that I was watching was Tokyo Mew Mew and I, I just, I can't consider it a fave, guys. Again, do you want me to do a Tokyo Mew Mew review? Comment down below. I feel like a lot of people grew up with it so I might upset some people that I don't like love it it was good uh, I don't know I have a lot of feelings anyway let me know if you want me to talk about Tokyo Mew Mew or Pretty Cure um, or if you just want me to buy things and show you what I bought because I don't know this video's Fiji Confetti Club member is punk or something on Instagram this is like an amazing spooky punky freaking party look you look amazing um the go get em sweetheart tea in black looks surprisingly badass you look unsurprisingly badass because we all know that you're cool as hell your hair's cool your choker's cool your earrings are cool oh the little yellow lightning bolt goes with the yellow sparkles i like your spunk punk thank you so much for your support have a wonderful life. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Goodbye! I'm a dog,